your activities. Nonprofit fundraising group Synergy 8 purchased a bus 10 years ago to provide mobile health services to children and families in Saskatoon's core neighborhoods. It serves 7,000 patients each year, and its success has inspired a new project outside of the Bridge City. Mandy Voke has more. While it may look like something you take on a family vacation, this vehicle will soon be transformed to help over 1,000 people. The bus will be retrofitted to provide medical services to the seven First Nation communities in the Saskatoon Tribal Council. We see uh, a lack of services in our communities, so uh, we have a lot of uh, transportation issues for people to come into the cities to get these types of services. Ethan Bear, who plays for the Edmonton Oilers, grew up on the Ochapowis First Nation. Bear, who will be the project's ambassador, has seen firsthand how some communities struggle to receive basic medical care. Being so far away from most um, big cities so they don't have a lot of resources so um, you know with this project and this campaign going on it makes a lot of sense to me. The project is sponsored by a variety of community partners. The provincial and federal governments will also kick in cash. The bus will operate five days a week and have services these communities lack. And it'll have a fully equipped dental lab with a dental assistant and a dentist and in the mid side of it we'll have a mental health worker. Like the bus in Saskatoon there will be paramedics on board. They'll be able to check in on patients at home and build connections, which is especially important for those struggling with their mental health. The workers on the bus are going to build relationships and trust with the community members so they can have those uh, uncomfortable discussions and really get some support to, to make them healthier and better. The bus will be up and running at the end of next August. Tribal Chief Mark Arcand hopes it can inspire similar projects in other remote areas of Saskatchewan. Mandy Voke, Global News.